Hello and welcome to another tutorial on um, HTML. Uh, if you have not seen the other tutorials, I suggest going back and watching them. Uh, this is the sixth in the series, I believe. Um, so today I'm going to be going over the title tag and uh, just general font changes. So first off, for the title tag, you're going to go anywhere in the head tag, um, as long as it's not in another tag inside the head tag, such as the style tag and um, just put a title tag and end lay title tag Oops. Um, so title and end that and inside there just um, and I'm just gonna put something like my website website and save that and pay attention up here Mozilla Firefox see how it says that and when I refresh, it says my website dash Mozilla Firefox. So it just basically changes the title. So now let's say I do a new tab. It'll also say it right here, my website, instead of just being blank. It'll say blank, I believe, if you don't have that. Um, so that's just general title. And um, next, I'll be going on to the font. So here's the definition of how you would use the font. You put the weight values before the style the variant, the size, and then the font name. So this is what that would look like, the weight, the style, the size, and the font names. So um, we don't have a variant in here, but if you want to know what a variant is, just look it up, look it up on Google. So uh, the way you do this is to the right of any tag that has text in it, you do style equals open quotation, close quotation. And once again, this is CSS because um, some tutorials show you how to do it in the font tag, but don't listen to those guys because the font tag has been deprecated. Um, so they're either either giving you wrong information or it's an old tutorial. But um, so this is the new way to do it. You do style equals quotations. Then inside the quotations, you would put font colon then um, whatever you want. But you have to do it in this order. So if you want the weight to be bolder, you put bolder. If you want the uh, style to be italic, you put italic. If you want the size to be uh, 10, uh, size 10, then you put size 10. And you put the file, font type. So just put in here the things you want. And then um, let me save this. And refresh. And as you can see, it didn't change the size because it was already 10, but it changed the font and it made it italic and bolder. So now I'm going to make this bigger just so you can see it better. Refresh and, or save and refresh, and now much bigger. Um, so basically, I'll show you what the bolder tag does. So if I get rid of this, save and refresh, it became less bold. And uh, the italic tag. I'm pretty sure all of you know what that is, but just in case you don't, I'm going to remove that and pay attention to pi. And as you can see, it's unitalic, italic size, I believe it's. Um, and then uh, you can get rid of this too. It'll just go back to normal default size font. And refresh. Yeah, it's back to, I believe it's 10. It starts out. And the font si or the font type, it just changed the font type. So... You really don't have to do all of these, like you don't have to add a bolder or italic size or font name, but you have to make sure you do them in the right order. So I couldn't go in here and say uh, Arial, Boulder, Arial, Boulder, um, 10 or 20 PT, then italic, because it's not going to work. Watch. I'll save it. I'll refresh. And as you can see, it didn't do anything because you didn't put them in the right order. So you can really do any of these or you don't have to do any of them as long as you do them in the right order. Order is key in my tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, I suggest talking to me on my AIM account, which is CP Answer Man. And if you have any video requests, you can also talk to me on this. And uh, Or you can just PM me with any questions or video requests. Oh, please comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, thank you, and bye.